Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily look at one of our stock signals from our signals membership on Wave5 Trade. And I'm going for longs today, but just very briefly, our members get the videos uh, every day. And in the members area, they get signals for long and short trades on the weekly, daily, and 60 minute time frame every day. So uh, in the long trade section here, we can see for the 2nd of April, uh, we just click on the image and it downloads the spreadsheet. So have a look at the spreadsheet for longs um, for today. So I'm going to go on the weekly time frame. There's a lot of um, volatility at the moment in the market. So sometimes to smooth that out, you want to go on to a larger time frame and look for larger swings uh, that could take, you know, nine, uh, maybe 15, 20 weeks to to hit target. So quite a lot setting up on the weekly time frame here for a fifth wave um, swing trade. So let's have a look at the chart for one of these. OK, so I've chosen DHI, DR Horton, on the weekly time frame. For our members that have the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, this is the TradeStation version. It's also available on Thinkorswim, NinjaTrader and Multicharts. So isolating the wave count is important here. Even if we go back to these lows uh, around about um, towards the end of 2013 on the weekly chart here, we can see when we isolate the wave count here, we've got this big corrective movement up here. Then we get a nice deep pullback and then uh, we get the one to the big bullish move up on the wave three. And now we're on this wave four pullback. So isolating this particular wave count is back here towards the end of 2013 in this range period here. So let's zoom in a little bit and have a look close look what's happening right now. OK, so first of all, on our signals membership, we have some basic filters uh, on the 535 oscillator here. We can see that the, the oscillator is pulled back between 90 and 140 percent. So that's a good tick in the box. The pullback is good. The stochastics pulled back in the oversold zone against a false breakout. Um, uh, stochastic here and again this is part of our new Elliott Wave indicator suite and also the wave falls pulled back into our high probability zones here so I just want to zoom in a little bit more we'll talk about the probability zones and look for entries for this potential longer term swing trade on DHI so the wave force pull back into the amber zone so it's an 80 percent probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zone up here just above 56 dollars in blue here so we've got a decent risk to reward we've found good support over the last few weeks on this weekly time frame now we're looking for a continued move away from this wave four support level through our six four moving average high here which is our conservative entry above the highs of these pivot points here so a 4656 long entry on dhi is quite conservative the stop loss is a few cents below the wave four low here the wave four low is 4134 so you need to be about 4124 on the stop loss there 46.56 entry and as we can see we have between a 1 to 1.6 uh, to the bottom end of the target zone to a 1 to 2 risk to reward to the top end of the target zone for this potential trade on DHI. So as you can see it's a very very simple setup our signals membership receives the uh, signals every day downloaded on the spreadsheet and um, those that have the Elliott Wave indicator suite for the major platforms um, can use that indicator suite to set this up really really well again the indicator suite includes automatic pullback zones the target zones here the 535 oscillator and the specialist uh, false bar stochastic uh, here so that's it for today have a great trading day and a great trading week